Turkey, it is, of course, the main dish on Thanksgiving Day for most, and it's what built an empire for a Dallas man who happens to have a knock, uh, knack for frying them. New for you at 10 o'clock, J.D. Miles introduces you. The skin's just so good, and all this just flavors it. 25 years ago, Billy Howell appeared on the Food Network from his Dallas garage, showing how to fry a turkey, which wasn't common at the time. I think they were... They were I don't think there were a lot of people doing it, you know, maybe in Louisiana. Um, of course, that's where I got the idea from. Here's that original frying pot. It sits in the Louisville shipping facility of the Cajun Turkey Company, where the man who started out frying them for friends in his home like prepares to send some of the 40,000 ordered this year from across the country. So I started frying the turkeys for the, my friends coming over watching the football games. And my friend Paul goes, Hound Dog, your turkeys are so good. We should like really sell these. And I went, well, yeah, we should. Let's do that. From those first fried turkeys, Howell has expanded his Cajun cuisine empire to include more than 150 other foods sold at his company store here in Louisville. You know, I've been blessed. I've truly, truly been blessed. The turkeys are fried off site, wrapped in foil and immediately frozen before being packaged and sold in the store or shipped from this 8,000 square foot facility. Howell's Cajun seasoned birds are even sold in Central Market and the catalogs of Neiman Marcus and William Sonoma. Not bad for an entrepreneur who says if he can do it, anyone can. Never give up. When we started there, were, I mean, I, I went to the pawn shop and hot things to pay the bills. Howell says frying a turkey isn't as easy as it may look. In fact, when I ask him for advice, he says it takes a lot of practice. I think everybody needs to fry turkey one time, and then they will really and truly appreciate how good ours is, <laughs> and then they don't have to do it anymore. In Louisville, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.